Hi you guys, it's Susie from Thrifty Reviews for you and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do my winged eye. I've had a couple of requests asking if I could show them on how I do my winged eye look. I already primed my eyes and I'll go ahead and start with the Jaclyn Hill palette that I like using. And the first color I'm going to use is this color on my whole lid and then this as my actually this one as my transition color and I'll go ahead and use my blending brush by Morphe and this is the R40 which is a rose gold type of brush so let's go ahead and start off with all my lids And then I'll go ahead and do underneath my eyes with this brush, which is like a corner brush. And go ahead and go in with my transition color, which is this one. I don't know what color that is because it's not, it's written on the back, but I just don't have patience to go through that. But this is more of a winged eye that I'm trying to go for, but this is the base of what I start first with. Kind of like a sorbet type of peach color that's going to bring it out a lot better. And then now with the transition shade, this again, but it's on the crease. My lighting in here isn't that great, but uh, I decided just to do a tutorial in the bathroom. And see how that just kind of blends in a lot nicer. So that's gonna blend in from my uh, lighter shades to darker and kind of extend that out a little bit past the eyebrow. Kind of soften that up. Shade now. I'll go ahead and use this shade right here next to it. Just on that outer crease. And then get your blending brush right here and blend. So this is my Nordstrom Rewards card that I use as my, how I cut my line in here, cut my line. So I'm gonna use a darker shade, which is right here. This kind of reddish brown. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So dip that in there. And you're gonna line from the edge of your eye to where your eyebrow is at, the end of your eyebrow. And you're gonna go ahead and smudge that in there. And that's gonna help create that wing. So this is how I kind of cheat on my wing. You guys wanna know. And again, on the other side. So find where your end of your eyebrow, the tail of your eyebrow, and at the end of your eye, close your eye and just kind of go up. I don't like using tape. I've tried, but you know, when I was doing makeup professionally, this is what we used. We used a card back in the day. We didn't use any tape. So that is what's gonna help with your winged eyeliner. Secret, very easy, takes three seconds and voila so go ahead and uh get a clean blending brush and just kind of buff that edge away so it doesn't look so hard i'm gonna go ahead and use uh this shade right here i wish the names were on the palette it would help out so much so kind of go in right where your eye socket is and just kind of dig right in there for it to blend. And that's what's going to create that depth 
that you need. And with the blending brush again, go ahead and blend that in. I use my LA Girl Cold Pencil. This is like $3.99 over at Ulta. And make sure it's pretty sharp. Sharpen that up as sharp as you can. And I use my GNK pencil liner, which I like. I got this on our trip in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, we went over to the mall right next to our hotel. And you guys need to check out Brizette over at the GNK makeup counter in the mall next to the hotel in Puerto Vallarta. Go ahead and get the liner. We'll go ahead and do the water. Well, actually outside of the line, we're gonna create kind of like a cheating method of this wing liner. So we'll go ahead and uh, start on the outer part. And you're gonna stop right there. See this edge? And go ahead and uh, angle. See, this is where we're gonna stop right here. This is the little edge part. And you're gonna go ahead and uh, close your eyes halfway and create that wing. See how I got that wing effect already? And blend that from the bottom of your eye to that corner. And you're gonna go ahead and kind of darken that triangle. And there is your wing. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Again, this is the corner that's gonna, right there. So it's kind of like connect the dots. And close your eye and just kind of get in there. If you want more of a darker line, more of a finish line, then you go in with your liquid liner. I picked up the Scandalize by Rimmel which is a really dark waterproof liner and follow what we did. It has like a little ball at the tip. So that's gonna help and pull that eyebrow up, okay? And just follow. And there is your wing. If you have almond shaped eyes, it kind of helps to close that eye and get that little meaty area at the edge. So that's how you get that nice kind of flow. What do you guys think? And that's my secret to my winged eyes. And I'm gonna finish off with uh, curling my lashes and adding mascara or actually I'm gonna go ahead and uh, line my bottom part and I'll show you guys how to do that get my flat brush with that with my setting spray and going in with this darker shade right next to the black and just go and on the bottom part of your eye, kind of line that out. Get some of that kind of finish look without lining the inside waterline. Because I want to create a little bit more of a slanted, bigger eye, not squinty eyes. 
and blend that. I'm going to go ahead and curl and do the mascara. All right, and that is it for my look. Make sure you guys do a thumbs up, follow me on all my social media, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.